Solarization occurs when a photographic print is partially developed and then exposed to white light in the darkroom. In Adobe Photoshop, we are going to recreate this effect in a few easy steps to create a similar effect like this one by Man Ray. First thing that you need to do is find an image that's suitable. It could be part of the human body like mine, a picture of um, a car, flowers, buildings, whatever you want. And once you've found that, just open it up in Photoshop. If your image is already in black and white, then miss out this step. But if it's in colour like mine, we just need to convert it to black and white. So to do that, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, Black and White. Press OK and you can see that our image has been converted to black and white. For those of you who just missed out that step, then you can join in in this step in step 2 to create a curve. And then to do that again, go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer and then Curves and then press OK. You can see that our Curves palette has been brought up here on the right hand side. For those of you that use curves, you might be familiar with using the tool like in editing tones and exposure, but you might not know that the curve tool has a pencil which allows you to draw your own curves or lines. The pencil's just here, but like underneath this squiggly line, you can see that it's selected when you hover in the white space. And then what we now need to do is draw an inverted V, so make sure your output and input is set to zero, and then holding down the shift key, click and hold, still holding down the shift key, go up to this point here, click and then down to the bottom right hand corner make sure your output set to zero and then still holding down the shift key click and you create an inverted V and let go and you can see that that is our first step of our solarized effect we now need to tweak this slightly by creating another curve so go to layer new adjustment layer curves you can see that we're creating our second curve and then press OK and then that just appears here at the top of your layer palette and then now that we're going to do is use a normal wave tool, so this squiggly line that's above the pencil. And we're just going to manipulate the curve to lighten and darken our image. And then this is literally going to be dependent on your photograph as each one's different. So don't copy what I'm doing. Play around until you're happy. And then for me, I'm done. And as you can see in my example, I've only slightly darkened my image around the outside here. But a small bend has created a massive effect. Once you're happy with the amount that you've done, we're now going to use the dodge and the burn tools, which are down here in your tool palette, just to lighten up some areas of your image and darken others. So to do that, go to your layer palette, create a new layer. We're going to go then image, apply image, and then press OK. And then you can see that that's duplicated everything we've done into one layer at the top. Then going down into our tools, clicking and holding here, you see we've got a dodge tool and a burn tool. Dodge tool lightens everything and the burn tool is going to make it darker. So for me I'm going to go for the dodge tool just to lighten up this background here to bring out the subject and make it more in focus. If you go up here you can see that you can adjust your size. I've got mine at 65 pixels as it fits nicely within my image in the area but again just to what you need. And for my hardness I've gone for 36% as I don't want it to come free but again this is entirely up to you and dependent on your image. So I'm just going to go around my background highlighting some areas and bringing out that body. I'm now going to make it a little bit darker just where I've got some dark tones coming through. And then for me I'm done as I'm really happy as it's made the background a lot clearer, brought out this nice solarized effect that we've just made and that's all I want to apply to my image. Again if you want to you can use the dodge and the burn tools to adjust your solarized effect but I don't really think that you need to. And then that's all. There you have it. You've created a solarized effect in Adobe Photoshop and I hope you've enjoyed our tutorial.